Hey guys, Spider here, and I have some brand new multiplayer gameplay footage from Black Ops 2 on the map called Hijacked. And if you remember, we did a video a few days ago or last week, and we showed the image of the boat that uh, supposedly as it appears in the Black Ops 2 playlist. And Hijacked is a luxurious super yacht, frantic yet controlled close quarters engagements. Now, there are a few people that were invited to Treyarch Studios to test out Black Ops 2 multiplayer, and they were allowed to record some of the gameplay and post a 90 second video of it. Uh, one of those players was uh, one of the guys over at Charlie Intel. Dot com and uh, they're kind enough to allow me to use the footage in this commentary I'm just going to show the footage straight up here uncut and uh, not uh, commentated over and then I'm going to talk about the footage shortly thereafter so check it out guys and this footage also includes uh, the first gameplay that we've seen using the M27 assault rifle and I just want to personally thank the guys over at Charlie Intel for allowing me to use the footage. Thanks, guys, and make sure you guys go and support them. They uh, provide a lot of up-to-date and relevant information over on their website. Link is in the description, so go check them out and support them. Hard point identified. The above. Above. Hard point. Hardpoint contested. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Hardpoint identified. Strike coordinates. He's gone. Tested. Hellstorm missile inbound. We've taken the lead. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Hard point. Captured the hard point. Hostile death machine spinning up. All right, very cool, very cool. We're going to run through that again and uh, pause it at some points, and uh, let's see if we can talk about a few things. There's some kind of interesting things in there that I wanted to point out, so uh, let's take another look here. Hard point identified. The above. All right, here's the M27. Looks like he's got a reflex scope on there as well as a silencer, so customized with two attachments. And that looks to be like a pretty solid weapon. And we'll see a little bit more gameplay as uh, we continue here. Above. Hard point is ours. Hard point contested. All right, first comment I want to make is about the map layout, and it actually reminds me a lot of wet work in that, you know, not only are we on a boat, but it's a long, narrow map, um, but it's multi-level, and I don't think it's necessarily as long as wet work. I think it's probably about half the length would be my guess, uh, but again, multi-level, you, you have probably three or four levels here that you can play on, so it'll make for an interesting map and probably a lot of close quarters action. Uh, the other thing I want to note is that uh, this is uh, at least my first glimpse of the crossbow. I don't think I've seen other multiplayer gameplay, whether there is other gameplay out there that contains uh, images or, or footage of the crossbow, but this is my first glimpse at it. It looks pretty badass. That crossbow looks badass, and uh, you know they've confirmed that in the... Uh, uh, party games that there would be sticks and stones so that the crossbow was returning and uh, this is the first glimpse of it we actually see it in action in a few moments here all right did you guys hear that seriously did you guys hear that i what the hell was that uh, that's the only reason i paused here all right let's let's listen to that a couple more times All 
All right, seriously. Like, I know we're in the, the bedroom area here, but that's a little much. Uh, that's some, some weird sex going on there or something. I have no idea what that noise is. This is like an Easter egg. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. All right, so we saw some Scar H action happening right there. We saw the crossbow in action as well. And although uh, we didn't get a kill with it, it does look interesting. It actually looks like the reload on the crossbow is a bit faster than it was on Black Ops. Would you guys agree or not? All right, looks like we're in the engine room of the yacht with a Vector K-10. Looks like he's got a uh, millimeter scanner on there as well as a silencer. And uh, the Vector also looks pretty good. I just started using the Vector in uh, my Modern Warfare 2 Road to Commander series with uh, rapid fire, unfortunately. But uh, good solid SMG. Lightning strike coordinates. All right, I do got to say that M27 looks beast. He's got an ACOG and a laser sight on that thing. And uh, that thing looks really, really good. And uh, just some details about uh, the M27 from the forums over in Activision. It's a lightweight magazine-fed infantry assault rifle based on the HK416 platform. The M27 is currently being sought by the U.S. Marines, which is intended to enhance an automatic rifleman's maneuverability and displacement speed by lightening the weapon, making it easier to maneuver and manipulate. The M27 features a heavy barrel for sustained firing and is designed to fill a niche role between assault rifle and an LMG. Tested. Hellstorm missile inbound. We've taken the lead. All right, this has got to stop. Every weapon I look at and see in this gameplay footage is, like, awesome. I'm going to say, now the MP7 looks beast, doesn't it? Uh, he's got the silencer and the laser sight on it, and I, I could have sworn he had, uh, when I was watching the, the, the fire rate of this thing, that uh, he had rapid fire in this thing. This thing is beast. It looks like it's it's a beast SMG, and the fire rate is pretty crazy. Uh, he was taking those guys down pretty easily with that MP7. What do you guys think? Friendly hunter-killer drone deployed. Sniper down. Hard. That was just another brief clip of the N27. Just want to comment about uh, Hardpoint, the game mode. I'm actually looking forward to playing this game mode. It's uh, like a King of the Hill type game mode. You uh, capture and stay within a certain area while the enemy tries to basically kill all of uh, your team's players to take over the Hardpoint location. So it's a little bit of a variation on uh, Headquarters. What? There is the 5-7 uh, from Modern Warfare 3, and uh, I really hope that whatever they do to sort of cap the fire rate on these guns, and I know they've sort of implemented, I believe in, in Modern Warfare 3 they implemented this, in order to prevent people using, you know, modded controllers for uh, rapid fire, but it, it, it was kind of constricting for me because I have a very, very quick trigger finger, so some of the weapons, the fire rate is actually, you know, my trigger finger is too fast for the fire rate. I really do wish there was some other way for them to weed out people using uh, modded controllers like that, but I, I don't think there is. I, I mean, I think you could probably monitor, you know, for the consistency in the uh, the trigger to find if someone is using a modded controller, but I think that would be too difficult. Plus, plus then, you know, if, if they did implement something like that, the manufacturers of these custom controllers would come back and put in a chip that actually changes the fire rate and makes it sort of random, so I think it would be easy for them to manufacture that, unfortunately. So I, I don't think there's really any other option. Captured the hard point. Hostile death machine spinning up. All right, that's it for the footage. And uh, like I said, I think uh, Charlie Intel was the, were the only ones that were actually able to capture footage using the M27. Uh, I would imagine that uh, each of the the parties that were attending the event were given maybe perhaps uh, access to certain weapons uh, themselves, so they have something unique to show as part of their f video footage. Also, they were only allowed to show, again, 90 seconds worth of footage. That's why we only have as much as we have. 
But I wanted to talk through it with you guys. That was Hardpoint on Hijacked multiplayer gameplay. Again, thank you very much. Goes out to charlieintel.com. And please make sure you go over and support those guys and check out their site. Again, providing lots of up-to-date information, latest and greatest on Black Ops 2, among other things and other games. So check them out. And thank you personally again to uh, Charlie Intel for allowing me to use the footage. I appreciate it very much. What do you guys think? You liked it? I sure did. I'm Spider-Bite and I'm out.